ABC 27 Sports presents the championship match of the 19th annual William H. Metzger Pennsylvania State Clay Court Open presented by M&T Bank. Hi everybody, I'm Greg Mace together with longtime WTA star Elise Bergen and the longtime director of the U.S. Open, Jay Snyder. Jay, we're going to start with you. Let's talk about the significance of this tournament in terms of tennis locally because people have seen it, heard about it over the years. This has been a great tournament and meant a lot to local tennis. This is a real great opportunity for Central Pennsylvania for exposure to tennis. We've got a really open, open tournament. You've got players from South America, from Asia, from Australia, from Latvia. Uh, they're just from everywhere. And also, we've got some of our own developing young local players. And what a great opportunity to have them get the exposure to that level of tennis. And to expose the fans here in Central Pennsylvania to a wonderful level of tennis and they can actually see what professional tennis is all about and the development of tennis too. Well, we're going to see one of those players and in fact uh, two players who are very very good at least we have uh, Michael Shabazz and Nathan Healy the number one and two seeds here in the Metzger. Well this should be a great match it's a terrific dichotomy you've got two players at the opposite ends of their careers and Michael Shabazz this is a guy that's young and he's very hungry two-time NCAA doubles champion just graduated from UVA He's starting his pro career. He's a big hitter. I really like his backhand, and I, I really like the way he goes after his points. And then you've got Nathan Healy. This is a guy, he's seen it all. He's done it all. He coached Leighton Hewitt, one of the great players in the game, and he's had his own very good career. Reached the third round of the Australian Open. So uh, you've got experience against a very young, hungry player. It should be terrific. Let's talk about the surface here. It's clay. You played on this before. You played in all the Grand Slam events. People see a uh, hard court. They see grass. Talk about what clay, a clay surface is like. Well, this is hard true here today, and it's a very slow court. And when it's slow, you've got to think. You hopefully have to slide on the court, use your feet. You need great footwork, you need terrific endurance because the points are long, you've got to think your points out, and you've really got to be a player who's willing to grind it out. I believe both these guys are willing to grind it out. That's why we're going to have a great match today. Jay, we talked about the development of tennis, and here we have one of the top players from the NCAA this past year, a number of years. Uh, sort of a changing face because uh, Shabazz decided he's going to stay in college, play out his college career, and then go pro. I think you're starting to see that difference now. Uh, Ten years ago or more, it was if you want to play professional tennis, skip college, go straight out on the circuit, get your, you know, your experience in tournaments. And now that's kind of changed around under Patrick McEnroe, our new uh, director of player development. It's stay in college, get that maturity under your belt. The level of competition at college has, has boomed in the last five, ten years. And he's a good example of a player that's done just that. I think he's got a great future ahead of himself. He got a wild card into the Open last year in doubles. And I think, uh, you know, you'll see it today. All right, well, a great crowd coming here to Colonial. It's going to be a hot, humid day here in uh, central Pennsylvania. We're getting set for the finals of the Metzger Open here on ABC 27, presented by M&T Bank. Want a free checking account? Raise the green flag. With M&T Totally Free Checking, there's no minimum balance requirement and no monthly service charge. Are you ready to raise the green flag? Visit any M&T Bank branch today. Freshness is a must. My reputation depends on it. So I serve Fresh Express salads just like the ones in your store. See how green and crisp this is? That's fresh. And the taste? Perfect. Fresh Express salads are washed in Fresh Rinse, a breakthrough eco-friendly wash that now cleans our salads seven times better. That's why Fresh Express is a salad I choose to serve my customers and my family. Fresh Express, consistently, deliciously fresh. Colonial Golf and Tennis Club is one of Harrisburg's premier stops for pristine fairways and greens, spectacular tennis courts, and world-class food that will surely impress you and your guests. From our elegantly decorated ballroom to the picturesque fairway room with stunning views of the 18th green, to our large crystal clear swimming pool, Colonial Golf and Tennis Club has the perfect setting for family enjoyment and smaller large gatherings. For more information on membership opportunities, visit us online at www.colonialgolftennis.com. Welcome to the Ultra Life, where you never have to settle for less. 
With 95 calories, 2.6 carbs, and one exceptionally smooth taste, Michelob Ultra is perfectly balanced for your life. Well, we spoke with uh, both players and at least talked earlier. Courtside with Michael Shabazz, who is our number one seed here at the Metzger Open. Let's take a listen, Elise. Thanks, Greg. Here with finalist Michael Shabazz, our number one seed. Michael, you have now graduated college. First, tell us how exciting that is to have that all off your shoulders. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of hard work. Four years of uh, hanging around playing with uh, some of the best uh, players in college tennis and going after and pursuing a, a degree. It was, uh, it was a great experience, and um, this is my first professional tournament, and I'm uh, looking forward uh, to having a good match today. Yeah, that's great. You get to, gets to make a little bit of money. Uh, talk about this transition from college tennis to professional tennis. You've got to be very excited about it, but it can also be a little scary. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a little different because uh, obviously when you're playing on a college team, you're playing with other individuals and it's more of a team atmosphere. And now I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm playing for myself and it's a little more of a selfish mentality. And um, obviously there's the competition is uh, tougher than ever. So um, it's going to be fun. It'll be uh, I'll definitely enjoy the experience and uh, take uh, take the journey as it comes. Well, absolutely. And it's always nice to have that degree uh, in, in your pocket. Talk a little bit about this match today. I saw you out here watching the semis. You saw Nathan a little bit, a guy with a lot of experience in Aussie. How do you approach this match? Yeah, obviously Nathan's been around the game for a long time and uh, he's played at an extremely high level and uh, I have a lot of respect for him and I've seen him uh, and he's uh, obviously a little bit older than I am. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's going to be a good match. It's going to be a pretty physical match. I think we both hit pretty big from the baseline and uh, I think it's going to come down to a few points and who really plays the bigger points uh, well today. Absolutely. And just talk a little bit about your game. You've made great improvements. I know maybe earlier in your career you just we're hitting big, but now a lot more variety to your game. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I've, uh, I've worked hard on my uh, de the defensive aspect of the game and, and also neutralizing and transitioning coming forward. And I think, uh, you know, with the way tennis has kind of transcended uh, in the last couple of years, it's gone to really physical, physical game and you need all three dimensions. And uh, I've definitely worked hard on trying to add a few elements to my game and kind of picking and choosing depending on how my opponents play to match up against them and uh, throw different angles at them and uh, see how they can cope with the situation. Well, well, good luck today. I know you're going to throw a lot at Nathan. I think we're just going to have a terrific final, Greg. All right, Elise, thanks a lot. Players getting set for the finals, the 19th annual Metzger Open presented by M&T Bank. We continue live from the Colonial Golf and Tennis Club here on ABC 27. We revolve around you. At Centric Bank, this is more than a tagline. It's our promise. 
As your financial partner, Centric Bank provides relationship banking that frees you to serve your customers better. The Centric team understands the challenges of business ownership. We have the resources to help you grow, and you are just one call or click away from a decision maker. Saving, borrowing, investing with people you trust, that's the power of We Revolve Around You. Players getting set. Earlier, Elise talked to our number two seed, Nathan Healy. Thanks, Greg, here with our finalist, Nathan Healy. Nathan, yesterday you played some really tough matches. The semis you know, looked a little dicey for a second, but you got through. Yeah, I did. Um, I, I started off well. I uh, yeah, got through the first set 6-1, but I knew it was a lot tighter than that. Um, so going into the second set, uh, you know, he, he, t he tended to lift his game and uh, he returned extremely well and counterpunched well. So uh, the second set I lost in a tie break, um, but I kept my head and my composure and uh, went up a break early in the third and ended up getting over the line in the end. Yeah, well, he was a counterpuncher, but you certainly don't have a counterpuncher today. You got a guy who is a pretty physical player in Michael Shabazz. What are your thoughts about playing this match? Yeah, I haven't seen too much of Michael. Uh, I, I just know that he made the quarterfinals, uh, oh, sorry, the semifinals of the NCAAs recently. And, yeah, he's a, he's a big ball striker. That, I've heard that through the grapevine. And, uh, you know, so I'll have to be on my game. All right. Now, your career, you've seen it all. You've done it all. You're now on that other end of the of the spectrum. What uh, what is what's your advice for for young players now who are trying to come out and make it on tour? Even my, someone like Michael who's coming out now. Well, I, I suppose I mean I have my own academy down there, uh, down on the main line. It's called Down Under Tennis, and uh, you know what I'm trying to teach my kids at the moment is is really to have a positive attitude, and uh, I have a philo main philosophy that's called play awake. Uh, so it basically relates to uh, the mind and body connection, yep. uh, and that's that comes that is a lot of practices come from the yo yoga and meditation. Um, so I'm implementing that. And, you know, so, yeah, just being more aware on the court and, you know, keeping calm um, between points and having, like, a, a good routine that, that brings you back to the moment between points. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, in terms of coaching, you're coaching now, but, of course, your good friend Leighton Hewitt, you work with him out on tour and obviously working with one of the best. What do you learn when you, you really were out there working with one of the greats? Uh, well, a lot of this stuff behind this play awake. Uh, I just noticed that those top players, that there was no panic. There was, they were just, they centered their self between points, and you know they weren't really looking to the f to the future or into the past. They were really playing in the moment. Uh, it was fantastic working with Leighton. He's, he's such a competitor, uh, and he listened to everything I had to say. You know, he was. Um, yeah, he was fantastic to be around, and uh, we had some good results, ending his 16-match uh, losing streak against Federer, <laughs> so it was fun. Right, that's right, that's right, yeah. on the grass. And, uh, well, you said he listened to everything you said. Well, well you know what you're talking about. And uh, you, let's just talk a little bit more about today and what you're going to need to do out there. And uh, you're playing on the hard tree, which probably isn't your most favorite surface, but what do you do when you're out on these slower courts? Well, I, yeah, I have to be a little bit more patient, I think. Uh, I played last week in Trenton uh, in the U.S. Open playoff, and I won that on the hard court and, and got through relatively easily. Um, but now to to sort of bounce from that straight to the the slower courts, I just realised. Yeah, I mean, last night in particular, I was just uh, rushing a little bit and going for the big, pulling the trigger yeah. a little bit too soon. So I, I think I just need to be aware of that today and, and stay patient. Okay. Well. Greg, I think it's going to be a great final. Good luck to you, Nathan, and I think we got a good one. And uh, Nathan Healy got himself a, a long warm-up earlier today because uh, just about an hour ago he, in fact, played in the doubles uh, semifinals and lost. So it uh, creates for an interesting afternoon for 31-year-old uh, Nathan uh, Healy. Yes, but he'll be very well warmed up. So that's always a, a problem. You know, a, an old guy, he's got to get those legs going so that he'll be ready. But it's not easy to play a match prior to a final like this where it's going to be very physical out there. And uh, maybe, Jay, advantage Shabazz? I would think just from that perspective. Plus, he had two tough matches yesterday, one that lasted almost three hours. So we get set for the uh, 19th annual Metzger Open. 11 different champions in the 18-year history of this tournament. Jimmy Arias was the name that was kind of synonymous with this tournament in the uh, late 90s. Jimmy Arias, an eight-time champion. Of course, played had a great career on the Pro Tour. 
won five straight uh, Metzger Opens from 95 to 1999. This tournament's been uh, played for years at uh, the Country Club of Harrisburg, now different venues, and now we are at the uh, Colonial Golf and Tennis Club here on uh, Lingolstown Road in Harrisburg. Set to go. Healy serving first. First set. I don't know what, what you think, but you see a point like that, this first point of the match, and that's going to be a very tall order for Nathan Healy if he's staying way back behind that baseline, trying to stay in there with, with a guy in Shabazz who is just so solid off the ground. He's going to have a tough time. Uh, I mean, that was a very long first point, and if that's setting the tone for the match, uh, he may have his hands full. Of course, if he keeps serving like that, it'll be just fine on the serve. Well, absolutely, Ed. You look at, at his game, and Healy, so much of this match is going to depend on his first serve. He's got a pretty big first serve, and we know, as we, we watched him yesterday, he's got a great volley, but it's not easy to get in on, on this surface. Nope. 15 all. Uh. And you see right away, very early, it's all about court positioning, and Shabazz is standing closer to that baseline, pushing Healy back and, and playing aggressive tennis. And of course, early on, you see the difference between these two, the one-hander, the one-handed backhand with Nathan Healy and, and the two-hander with, uh, with Shabazz. And in my mind, but I think their backhands may be their better shots. Thirty all. Nathan Healy with a hat. He is uh, 31 years old, a native of Australia. As Elisa was talking to him before, he has uh, moved to Pennsylvania. His wife's from up here. Has his own tennis academy. And Michael Shabazz had a great NCAA career at Virginia. Just graduated. Went to the NCAA singles semifinals last month before losing. on this surface 30, that, that slows the court down, that sits up, a guy like Shabazz is just going to jump all over it. When you serve to the forehand like that, that's exactly the lesson you're going to get coming back at you. It's one of the great things about play is it just neutralizes that power. Yep, the first break point of the match. Thank you. And when you're down the break point, what do you want to do? You always want to get that first serve in, and that's exactly what Healy did there. And you, you talk about placement of the serve and mixing it up, and, and that's what Healy's going to have to mix that serve up. But what you said, Jay, about the forehand, if you're going to go to that forehand, if you don't get him very wide out in that deuce court, you're going to be in trouble. So second break point. Shabazz. 
Oh, the great. Shabazz wins the first game. And that, that's a, a game that is just indicative of how you need to play on the hard true. If you're uh, a Michael Shabazz, you just want to work your points, you want to work your man over, and that's exactly what he did to, to Healy in, in the first game here. So quick change of sides. Welcome all of you watching today here on ABC 27, the 19th annual William H. Metzger Pennsylvania State Clay Court Open Championship presented by M&T Bank. Greg Mace with Elise Bergen and Jay Snyder. And it's uh, been a few years since this tournament's been on TV. It's been covered a lot by the local media over the years, but uh, real neat as we continue to present sports on our weather channel to expose people to a uh, great tennis. And we talked about the great credentials of these two players. and. Uh, they uh, they have certainly uh, earned their spot here today. Boy, Michael Shabazz, you, you know, talked about the great development, and he, he ended his Virginia career, 124 singles wins. Jay, you talked about him being one of the all-time top recruits in, in in college in terms of a high school player coming out of college for uh, coming out of high school four years ago. Number five in the NCAA's. <laughs> and uh, we'll get into he hey. His semifinal at the uh, at the NCAA singles individuals didn't turn out the way he would have liked. And we'll just touch on that a little bit. Ed, in the semifinals, got to the semis, lost the first set, and was in the middle of the second set, was very upset with the line calls and got upset with the umpire and ended up walking, defaulting and walking off the court and uh, ended his college career in an auspicious fashion. But any tennis player knows in those moments when you're so angry, anything can happen. And I, I had a chance to talk to him about that a little bit yesterday. And he so regrets the decision he made to, to, to walk off the court and he wishes he could do it over again. but. It's all about learning, and it's a huge learning experience uh, for him. It's happened early in his career, and, and I, I think he's going to use it as a positive from here on out and, you know, how you handle those tough emotional moments. He is just working them over. Shabazz is just stepping into that court and got Healy just on a string. Like on a string, exactly what I was going to say. It's just like a, a little bear in a shooting gallery. One side, back to the other side. One side, back to the other side. So an early chance for Shabazz to go up two games first set. Game Shabazz. So Shabazz, Shabazz nice kicker on that, that serve. And on this surface, on the clay, if, you, if you, you watch that French Open, you see those players really in that, when they're serving to the ad court, if they can get that kick up, especially a one-handed backhand high to the backhand, it's very difficult to handle. I think we're gonna see more of that from him today. You know, you talked about how Michael got upset at line calls uh, in a match like this, in a tournament like this, players are calling their own lines. But you've also got the very nice fact that uh, it's on clay, you've got the mark, you've got, you know, it's every bit as good as shot spot or anything else. Uh, so the chair umpire just has to settle disputes. Yes, and there you get a really good shot of his athleticism, Nathan Healy. He's a terrific athlete, and he can improvise very well. And you see, you're going to see him improvise off that back. And he's serving and volleying, and he's so solid off the volley, he'll take the net cord. But check this out. And a little flick of the wrist.
example, whether we talked in the open house, Shabazz has, has really worked on his defense. And, and as a tennis player, as a guy who's going out there, going to try to make it out on tour, you can't play professional tennis today unless you can go from from offense to defense like this and and really, as we say, work those points. And um, that was a, a, just a perfect example of how he's worked on that game. Sometimes luck helps too. It, it certainly does, and and I think that down the line backhand's a shot that, that Healy's going to have to use because you see Shabazz is trying to go, is he's moving to his to his left and hitting that inside out forehand from the ad court, and he, it opens up that down the line, and Healy's got a good backhand down the line, he's going to have to use it. Great crowd here today at Colonial to watch the uh, finals of the Metzger. Talked about the wide serve, Jay, and took an example, the kicker. 30 off. I think you'd agree this is a must game for, for <laughs> Healy in this, in this first set. You just can't go down two breaks early. Shabazz looking at that ball that kicked off the baseline there. Just too late to change the call now. The ad for Healy. Oh, such a good volley here. So Healy, he escapes danger. Gets back in it, takes the game. Shabazz up 2-1, first set. You're watching the Metzger, presented by M&T Bank on ABC 27. Welcome to Hershey Country Club, the leading club experience in the region. Your membership affords a history rich in tradition since 1930, and a legacy that includes Ben Hogan, Henry Pickard, and chocolate magnet Milton S. Hershey. Hershey Country Club is a place for families, a place where members of all ages can rest, relax, play, and dine in the comfort of good friends. When you join our club, you're entering the Hershey family at Hershey Country Club. Welcome to the Ultra Life where you never have to settle for less. With 95 calories, 2.6 carbs, and one exceptionally smooth taste, Michelob Ultra is perfectly balanced for your life. Why teach tennis? It's a great question, but it's, a, it's an easy one to answer. I teach tennis because of the people. I teach because I love this game. I'm passionate about it. I think tennis demonstrates life. What can I do for you? Now what can you do for me? It's the best feeling in the world when you've taught somebody something and they get it. I, I love it. There's no better reward. It's about helping others, and that's the main reason why I teach the game of tennis. And we are back live at the Colonial Golf and Tennis Club. Greg Mace with a longtime WTA great doubles player in your prime. Winner of 10 doubles tournaments in one single. Are you implying that I'm out of my prime? No. <laughs> I haven't played on the court with you in a long time. Elise Bergen is with us, and uh, along with Jay Snyder, Love named synonymous you. with local tennis here, but the longtime director of the United States Open. Michael Shabazz, 23 years old, out of Fairfax, Virginia. He is the one without the hat. Nathan Healy, veteran tennis player, turned pro in 1998. 
reaching the third round of the Australian Open and uh, had a great Wimbledon in 2006 on the court here today at Colonial. All right, Jay, I've got a question for you. As we're watching um, Shabazz serve, and, and you're thinking about him moving forward in his career, he's got that abbreviated motion on his serve. What, what, did you, what do you think about that? It helps, it hurts, I and mean, long term? Well, I think now he's going to get uh, some more experience out on the circuit. I think that uh, you know, in some ways his, uh, the serve looked like the old serve that Jay Berger used to hit. Yes. Uh, I think that uh, somebody's going to work on him. He's at that point in his career where he can change his service motion without a lot of effort. And I think you'll, uh, you'll see him stop that half swing yeah. on and, his serve. And he certainly has a lot. Of, he's got plenty of pop on the serve. It's, it mm -hmm. has this, if, with this kid, it has nothing to do with strength or power. But, but I just feel like that abbreviated motion... You just you just don't get that rhythmic you don't have that rhythmic feel and it's unless you're Andy Roddick it's Ooh. it's tough and, and Roddick's is obviously so much different. And there you see Healy opening up the court himself. Thirty all and you know these are the types of games he's down the break you're at thirty all. You've got to be thinking, here's my chance to get that break back. Yeah. 40, 30. Nice one-two punch. You get that first serve in, which is what Shabazz did right there and just made life so easy for himself. Again, served wide, got him off the court, put it away into the other corner. And I think that... Uh, you know, Healy, the first few games of a match, you know, are the players are feeling each other out. They're starting to find out what they can do and what they can't do. Uh, game, Healy knows on. that when he's got that serve, he's fine. On, Down that tee. So Shabazz goes up three games to one here in this first set. And uh, I know people are used to seeing Grand Slam events uh, when, they're, when the men are best of five, but this is a best of three. And you get awfully close to the court, which is pretty neat here at a Colonial. You're right on top of the action. I don't know about you, but I always found when I was able to be right up close watching the matches, I always played better when I left. Uh, I wanted to get out and play right away. Absolutely, and, and you know, it's interesting. You're doing a lot of TV where we do it from, we do it off monitors, you sometimes up in a booth, and it's every now and then during a slam, I just always love to get out close to the court to, to remind, you, remind you of how fast the game is. You, you can see how they play, and Shabazz getting, oh, he just wants Dick Green to get up out of that chair, get a little exercise, checking out the mark. Did he wipe the mark off? Wait, he what? did. <laughs> He's not even going to give him a chance to go look at it. No peek for you. <laughs> the thing he's arguing is you played the ball, you didn't make your call until after you saw the ball went out, and then you went up and looked at the mark, and then you said it was out. So a lot of judgment involved in interpreting that. Flat, Healy getting that opportunity to, to step around and hit that inside out forehand. And Jay, I'm gonna ask you, you talk about interpretation and, and we know that that at the French, you, anyone who just watched that, you, you don't have the challenge system because the umpires can get out and, and make the call by looking at the mark. Yeah. After the point, I'll ask the second part of the question. Okay. Yeah. 
when you look at that mark, when the umpire gets out, looks at the mark, and you see it so many times, it's an interpretation of the mark, and you see the player saying, no, that, that it's it's in. Or, or, and the umpire says, no, 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 that's it's out. Do you think they should have the the challenge system there where you can you can absolutely see definitively? I love the challenge system, so you're, you're probably going to get a different answer from me than from the uh, old tennis purist that's, uh, that says, oh, no, play, you don't need a challenge system. I think the challenge system puts all those questions to rest because it is so accurate. And what you don't see is that there is a swept place right behind the base or behind the service line. And if that mark is in there somewhere, then it really is a judgment call as to whether that indeed is touching the line or whether it's in that gray area where there, there's no ball mark. Exactly. Well, I agree with you. And I oh, think that thank the, you. I, I, I mean, I asked you because I, that's how I feel. And I think you got that system, use it even on the play. I often wonder what McEnroe's legacy would be if, uh, if, if he played now and there was, you know, the, all, all And he the, couldn't all argue as yeah. much? Yeah. Well, what do you been? No, I mean, he's a great player, obviously, but. Uh. Well, I think he's made a heck of a lot of money because <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah, post-career, you see, he's got the commercials. He's very so marketable and that, and his, Argumentative style has served him well post tennis career. That's true. 40 30. He's the only uh, commentator that works for all the networks. Correct. Everybody else works for one network, and uh, John seems to have trans transcended all that. And uh, he's also the only commentator that won't go to any of the of the meetings to talk about <laughs> rules and things. So <laughs> I don't want to tell you something. <laughs> it's tennis according to John. Oh. John's a lot of fun. Nathan Healy serving for the game. Well, he handled that perfectly, so Healy does what he needs to do and just stays close, still down the break at 2-3 in this first set, but some pretty good tennis from Nathan Healy. The Pennsylvania State Clay Court Open, the Metzger continues here on ABC 27, presented by M&T Bank. to the ultralight, where you never have to settle for less. With 95 calories, 2.6 carbs, and one exceptionally smooth taste, Michelob Ultra is perfectly balanced for your life. size just right for kids. Now it's easier than ever to play an hour a day, every day. Shh. Back live, first set. Michael Shabazz, Nathan Healy, finals of the Metzger. We just saw that, that commercial there with Michelle Obama. And of course, there's a great, we were over the, uh, over the Camp Hill Tennis Club over there over by uh, the Capital City Mall uh, last month that you helped the open, and there's a great movement to get kids back into playing tennis. Oh, so true, and Jay, you know from the USTA the, what, how much, what they're doing now, trying to get the young players involved. You talk about that a little bit. The whole 10 and under initiative now, and getting those kids in. All that does is broaden that pool of players and increase the chances of the United States having that next great crowd of tennis players uh, on the international circuit. Okay. 
So Shabazz, the good wide serve out there. And, and you usually get aces when a player's not expecting it. And because he's mixing things up, he's going up the tees, going into the body a little bit. And so Healy can't really guess and, and, was, and opened himself up for that ace. But the, the short court tennis, or however we're, we're mm -hmm. referring to it, it's interesting because what in terms of introducing young players to tennis, it's making the game easier for these kids that they can have success right away the, with the shorter rackets, the bigger balls, and it's allowing kids to immediately think, well, I can play this sport because Very tennis well. is a skill sport and, and it's not easy to grasp and, and we're trying to get so many young players in it and I, I really believe that this may, may be the way. I think you're absolutely right. I think that uh, the fact that they can actually play where before with the bigger racket and the tennis ball, they were chasing the ball more than they were doing anything else. So, 30, 40. so now here's, here's the chance for, for Healy. And you <laughs> said it earlier, Jay, that, you know, you're trying to feel that you never played each other. You feel each other out. Well, now set in, into the sixth game of the match, Healy now with the break point. And a second serve. <laughs> well, he tried to get around it. He tried to get around and hit the big forehand, but the, the second serve was deep enough that he, he really couldn't attack it. Just notice that the wind has kicked up a little bit. So dealing with that, that's what tennis is all about. You've got the elements, outdoor tennis, you, you gotta deal with it all. And that's why you change sides every two games, just so uh, that the elements kind of even out. If the sun's in your eyes, it won't be after two games. Healy's been careful, if you notice when he serves, he catches the ball occasionally. Um, in that's perfectly legal. You don't have to hit the ball just when you throw it up. And uh, if that breeze moves the ball. Great opportunity to see how well-grounded Shabazz's game is. He worked the point, he came in, he finished it off with the volley. That and you're gonna see what we're talking about. The gets short ball. That, gets that ball deep in the corner and that gives him a chance to come up and finish the point. So he's up four games to two. Not that it's suddenly chilly here, but uh, the sun has gone in, which I'm sure helps both these guys. So now Nathan Healy. 31 years old, down four games to two here in the first set, serving to Michael Shabazz. Good body serve there. And Jay, you were talking yesterday. This is obviously not Healy's favorite surface and maybe explain why on this hard true. <laughs> An Aussie who grew up serving and volleying may not love it. Well. He's used to the hard court game, just like uh, players from this country tend to be used to the hard court game. And he wants that big power game. And one of the things I commented yesterday, he didn't slide into the ball once. And a true clay court player slides into the ball as they hit the ball. And there, I just love how compact Shabazz is with his backhand. I really like his backhand. He's compact, he hits through the ball and the less you have going on in your shot production, the more consistent it's going to be. His court coverage is great too. His footwork is great. At least your favorite surface is? Well, I always said it was a medium pace hard court, but my only singles professional career victory was right on this, on the hard true, on the clay. So. You know, there's certain players, one of these, I guess I was one of those players that 
Uh, you adapted well? I adapted, you know, I didn't dominate on anything, but was okay on pretty much everything. <laughs> would have liked to have dominated on one. That would have been nice, but, you know, you play with the cards you're dealt. Well, I'll tell our viewers that you, uh, you reach the uh, double semifinals of every Grand Slam event. That is true. Yes. Well, it, at the Australian, it was the semis of mixed doubles. Okay. But, uh, right. but at least I played the semis of all yeah. of them. And, that, and you know what that gets you, Jay. You it get to the final eight club. It gets you into yeah. the final eight club. That's a very uh, exclusive group. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, next to the Senate of the United States, it's one of the most <laughs> exclusive <laughs> clubs. <laughs> Now people, now that I'm old, that's what people always ask me. What's the best thing ever you've ever done? I said it's getting into that final eight club because now you can get those passes and tickets. Right. <laughs> Each of the Grand Slams has a final eight club, and that's uh, for people that make it to the final eight in singles or the semis in doubles and mixed. And uh, you're a lifetime member. Oh yeah. They, they don't unless you misbehave, which I don't know if I have. I, I have at the U.S. Open. Jay Jay's had to you know do a couple of saves with me, but um, you know as long as you behave, you're you're gonna be okay. If you're a good boy, Greg, maybe one day I'll take you somewhere. That would be there great. You go. Mm -hmm. Other than hitting with me at the local court. <laughs> Nice point by Shabazz. And I, I know Michael Shabazz, if you were talking to him, he's excited. He's, he's now 530 in the world, which is, if you're 530 in the world, that means you are really good. And to be 530 just coming out of college and you're not playing full time, um, he's excited about starting. But maybe Jay will talk a little bit about, you know, it, it ain't easy out there. And Ooh, what, what, no. what he's, what's, what, what's he's, He's going to be up against. Ah. Life on the tour is very difficult. Uh, when Elise said he's 530, that means uh, that there's 529 guys ahead of him. Uh, and you just check this out in Shabazz. You see Healy getting a little desperate to serve and volley in and just trying to hang in. Trying to end the point quickly. Just showing it all it is Shabazz. Offense, defense, good movement, and now he's in the driver's seat. Watch how fast he gets to that ball. And not only gets to it, puts it in perfect placement. Up five games to two. First set. Michael Shabazz dominating early here. The championship of the Mets are presented by MT Bank. We're live on ABC 27. Take great stats, one exceptionally smooth taste, and you have yourself the superior light beer. Michelob Ultra, perfectly balanced for the ultra life. Freshness is a must. My reputation depends on it. So I serve fresh express salads, just like the ones in your store. See how green and crisp this is? That's fresh. And the taste? Perfect. Fresh Express Salads are washed in Fresh Rinse, a breakthrough eco-friendly wash that now cleans our salads seven times better. That's why Fresh Express is a salad I choose to serve my customers and my family. Fresh Express, consistently, deliciously fresh. Colonial Golf and Tennis Club is one of Harrisburg's premier stops for pristine fairways and greens, spectacular tennis courts, and world-class food that will surely impress you and your guests. From our elegantly decorated ballroom to the picturesque fairway room with stunning views of the 18th green, to our large crystal clear swimming pool, Colonial Golf and Tennis Club has the perfect setting for family enjoyment and smaller large gatherings. For more information on membership opportunities, visit us online at www.colonialgolftennis.com. Want a $100 cash bonus? 
raise the green flag. Simply add direct deposit to a new My Choice checking account at M&T Bank. Are you ready to raise the green flag? Visit any M&T Bank branch today. Sports continues on the ABC 27 Weather Channel. Greg Mace with Elise Bergen and Jay Snyder. Coming to you from the Colonial Golf and Tennis Club, the finals of the Metzger Open Clay Court Open Championship for Pennsylvania. And it is Michael Shabazz in the far court. Dominating here early up five games to two here in the first set. Serving now for the set. Decided to let that go, or just couldn't quite get up the racket to reach it. But uh, it dropped on the baseline, so he's down low 30. Changed his shirt. Well, after our open, I felt like I needed to change my shirt. It was <laughs> <laughs> we were out there where it was very sunny. <laughs> We were, we were, we were one take wonders. Well, we, were, we were, now there's a nice breeze. And we are surrounded by a golf course here. It's a beautiful golf course here. The uh, <coughs> Colonial here on Linglestown Road combined with a tennis club. Just remember, golf's a four letter word to tennis players. <laughs> yes, Greg. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's the other US Open that's going on now. No, life on the tour is very difficult. Uh, you've got over a thousand guys that are trying to get points to uh, move their rankings up, and they're playing in the satellites, and they're playing in the challengers, and little backwater towns in South America and all over the country. Uh, they're living out of their cars, they're living out of suitcases. They're, some of them live in tents. Uh, Oftentimes you'll see six guys sharing a room uh, trying to, because there's not much money there, and they've got to get the points if they want to move their rankings. So. And it's a very cutthroat world, too. Doggy dog. But it, it, it's not going to be easy for Michael and it's for Shabazz. He knows it, and he's playing a guy who's lived it. That's, that's <laughs> in absolutely Nathan, true. In Nathan Healy today. So you know, it's, this is a, that's why I just love this matchup. I think he has two break points right now. Nope. 40, 30. Nope. So, well, he, he just misses that. And so now for Shabazz, it's, it turns out to be set point number one. First set, the Michael Shabazz winning at 6 2. Players take a break, getting set for the second set. Shabazz with a chance to uh, win it in two. We'll see if Healy can come back. Shabazz has cruised through this one, much like that. We continue with the Metzger live on ABC 27, presented by MT Bank. 
Blue Ridge is a private country club nestled in a magnificent setting at the base of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Enjoy outside dining on our new patio overlooking the first tee in Mountain. Known for its award-winning golf course, Blue Ridge also features five well-maintained tennis courts including two lighted courts. Come and enjoy our fun and active bar as well as a great deal of swimming enjoyment for the whole family throughout the beautiful Pennsylvania summer season. Since 1937, Blue Ridge Country Club has given our members a country club rich in tradition, character, and charm. Since the 1950s, Matthias Orthodontics believes that skill and compassion go hand in hand when providing exceptional patient care. Outstanding service begins with staying up to date on the latest advancements in orthodontics in order to provide the most current treatment options. We recognize that our patients are unique individuals who have placed a great deal of trust in our team. This is just one reason why we value each and every patient relationship. For orthodontic care for all ages, contact Matthias Orthodontics because great faces begin with braces. Thank all the great sponsors here at the Metzger, including Wolfsbach Distributors. Help provide the food and beverage here at the Metzger. And this is a, a terrific crowd here for a Sunday afternoon for any day. It'll be a great crowd. But, uh, good turnout here. And there you see Nathan Healy, who has lost the first set, 31 years old. And there is Michael Shabazz, coming off a great NCAA career at the University of Virginia. One of the all-time great Cavalier tennis players. Fifth all-time in singles wins in Virginia history and uh, Second set. won the 2009-2010 uh, doubles championship, NCAA. Yep, and he won the Wimbledon, Wimbledon Junior double, so this guy, he'll always, for the rest of his life, he'll always have a Wimbledon title. <laughs> Impressive stuff. But it doesn't get him into final eight. <laughs> no, that's very true. <laughs> He'll have to wait for his tickets. <laughs> No, I, think, set. I think he'll play his way in. Well, and you're watching uh, Nathan Healy at that point, and I, this is what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to use his guile a little bit out here, and you saw he just took some heat off of that one, went for the little drop shot off the forehand, got him going to have to just keep trying to mix things up and hopefully get Shabazz out of his rhythm. And the sun's back. 30 left. And there he throws in the serve and volley. He's just gonna, he's gonna just have to bring it all out of his playbook now to hang in there with this young guy who is just so technically strong and, and just so good off the ground, moves well, and is doing everything so well out here. 40 left. And, the serve. Yeah, and of course, Jay what, and, and Greg, what you always do, you start it off with, with the first serve. You always go back to basics, and you got to get those first serves in. And that's why he's up 40 love this game. And there, perfect example of the difference between getting in the first serve and then you know, having to hit that second serve. And I love Shabazz's return. He, he's so compact on it, and he will just step in and attack that second serve. Game Healy, first game, second well, Healy holds serve in the first game, second set. And... Uh, you talked about, you just mentioned all the sponsors and everyone that's involved, and I know you know this, Jay, and talking to Craig, uh, to Craig Mathias, it's amazing how 
what what he gets done out here and the sponsors he brings in. I mean, when, the winner of this match is going to make $4,800. The, the, the finalist gets $2,400 for a money tournament. This is at the top of the heap, and, and you just got to be so impressed with, with what he's done with this event through the years. And that's why you're getting players from all over the place. They're, they're not only... Uh, interested in playing in central Pennsylvania. Yeah. That, that as carrot gorgeous is hanging as it is. out there. That's yeah. right. And, uh, and, and you know, and, and you talked about, Jay, about how it's going to be tough out there for Michael, earning a living. You know, you're living out of a suitcase. And so to come here and, you know, pick up a little extra cash to start off your career, <laughs> this is a great thing. Yeah, like you said, it's his first tournament as an actual pro. So he's going to take prize money. Gets the point there. If you just join us, flipping around the dial. Two outstanding tennis players going at it here in the uh, final round, final championship match of the uh, Metzger Open here at the Colonial Golf and Tennis Club here on ABC 27. Greg Mace together with Elise Bergen and Jay Snyder. A first for us as we continue to bring you sports on the Weather Channel. But this is our first tennis match. This tournament has been televised before, but happy now to bring it to you here on ABC 27. But never like this. Not this like is, this. We are, exactly we are right. taking it to <laughs> another <laughs> new level. <heights>. Yes. <laughs> Oh, he's saying, come on, old man, chase after that. <laughs> Adding insult to injury. That's, you know, we tennis players love to do that. <laughs> yes. But this is my favorite sur uh, surface, by the way. It's so much easier on my legs. The older you get as a tennis player, the, the more that matters. Yes, and even those who never love the, the, the slower courts as you're younger, as you get older, it becomes much more attractive because it is so much easier on the body. And I know you're watching Nathan, and you, you see that he is a, gr a terrific serve and volley, or has a great volley, and he's going to be playing world team tennis. He, he's still at it. He's he's going to play world team tennis in Philadelphia, starting right after Wimbledon. So he's got he's got plenty to practice for right now. Philadelphia Freedoms, and you know that song, Elton oh, yeah. John, who'd he write it for? He wrote it for Billie Jean King. And the Philadelphia Freedoms. Yep. I used to umpire those World Team Tennis matches back in the 70s, so, and we all shared the same locker room, the players, the umpires. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. And you never got hit? You didn't, no. when you, no, everyone, no. was everyone respectful? Yes, they actually were. See? I told you, I used to watch the old Baltimore Banners. Uh -huh. Baltimore Civic Center. Sure. And and so then, uh, growing up in Baltimore, Pam and I, Pam Shriver, Hall of Famer, when we were kids, that's what we do. We would go out to the Baltimore Banners World Team Tennis matches, and it was very exciting. We were ball kids. We, we just loved it. And that, that's why that's been so great and why tennis is so great, because, you know, uh, uh, something like that comes into your hometown. And as little kids, we got to see it. And... You can see what you can shoot for. It's right in front of your eyes. Yeah, the old Boston Lobsters. Great names. <laughs> yeah. They were great names. And the Pittsburgh Triangles. Billy Jean's done a wonderful job with World Team Tennis. And that's just a great return. And we talked about his compact motion, Michael Shabazz, on that backhand side. When it's short, you can, you can really step in and take that return early. Just watch him step into this. He's anticipating. But look where he is. He, he's, he's four feet into the court. I gotta get that first serve. 
of him. This guy's return is way too good. And, and the other thing you saw with that in that that instant replay is how Shabazz cuts off the angles. It, it, Jay, you know you've got to cut off the angles when, when you're returning. Another break point. Yeah, cool. yeah, Two first times in a row, but he gets it back in the game. And again, unlike the Grand Slam events, this is the best of three. Just about everything in tennis now is best of three. And even the doubles now, is, uh, we call it best of two because they play two sets and uh, then they play a tie break instead of a third set. Super tie break, except right. at the Grand Slams. The, the Slams still play, but but the men's, the ATP Tour and the WTA Tour, the, the regular events, they play a super tie break, uh, which is up to 10, which is different than the, than the traditional tie break, up to seven. But anyway, you know, getting into semantics here, but um, it um, you know, it was a way to get. They they were hoping that some of the the, the bigger stars would play more doubles and and to shorten matches up and and uh, it's worked. It, it, you know, I think people players were worried that players were worried. That some of the great doubles players were worried that it would really hurt the game, and I, I, it probably has has saved it. Has saved doubles for a lot of players. So Nathan Healy takes the. Uh, Takes the game and goes up 2-1 here in this second set. We talked about the history of this uh, great tournament. There have been 11 different champions. Boy, th this tournament really became, I, I think, a lot more media focused when Jimmy Arias, who of course was a great player, and, 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 and started to come here and started to win all the time. He's an eight-time champion, won five straight from 1995 to 1999. And I thought Jimmy really put a great identification on this tournament in the, in the uh, late 90s. He definitely did, and um, his coming here attracted some of the other uh, players who were just his vintage. Uh, you know, Richie Renneberg came in here, uh, we had uh, Jeff Tarango for a couple of years, and uh, of course the Jensen's have played here a number of times. And Luke won one year, right? Yeah, and yesterday I had a chance to talk to Tom Schweitzer, who's one of the great pro master professional. There aren't too many in the game, but just talking to him about about the history and then you know bringing all those terrific players in and we're talking about the fact that Jimmy Arias was so good that one year he played with with his wood racket and st <laughs> brought the wood racket out of the closet I and, remember and that. still and still won. I don't think you catch him doing that anymore. It's a little too tough on his elbow now. I'll say. But, uh, I'll say. And that's part of what's changed the game in a lot of ways for the adult population is the technology of the rackets. Uh, the, the, the rackets that they're playing with now with the composition materials are a lot easier on your arm. You can play longer in your life. Uh, you see what it's done to the uh, speed of the game and to, to the game that these guys have. Yep. And the professional game now is being changed not really by the rackets as much, but by the strings. And it's just a whole new ball game out there. The liveliness of the strings. <coughs> Nathan coming to life here. And he knows that you know he's got it he's got to seize on any of these opportunities. Two holds in a row for him now going to really go after the serve of Shabazz if he can. Tried that backhand down the line, but just put a little bit too much on it. And I think we, we talked about early in this match how the backhand down the line, hitting it down the line, up the line is going to be important for, for Healy because Shabazz likes to plant in that ad court, hitting the inside out forehand. So you got to keep him honest, but it's not easy to execute. So he's staying back even for the second serve. It's not coming in. Just terrific aggression, <coughs> and you know, it's a, that's a great point, Jay. And how you see how far he's playing back, even on the second serve. Look where he's returned. Well, he where he returned from, but where Shabazz with the two-hander 
and he can step in and really take that return early where Healy just doesn't have that type of game where he can do that as well. Point, worked the point and then came in, put the pressure on Shabazz to have to either try to hit the pass or, or, or try to hit the lob. Here's his real opportunity, two break points. Thirty, forty. One saved. He saves it with that getting by getting that first serve in, and uh, he could certainly use another one right here. I think people are going to start to believe you how important that first serve is. <laughs> it really is important and it, it doesn't have to be you don't have to be going for that 110 20 mile an hour serve get that first serve in get the you know then you're on the offensive on the point you're not on the defensive is it <laughs> trying he, he hits so deep Shabazz but that over the baseline he's going to just miss this and now for Healy his third opportunity for the break and you know, when, when you have when you start racking up those break points and you don't break it starts to weigh on you mentally so this is important for him now he's got the, the look at the second serve And mm -hmm. <laughs> what a gift. Two games all, second set. So Shabazz feeling that pressure with down, Second, you know, save two break points, Healy. but then you know, the double fall to now for Nathan Healy, who, you know, early on looked like it was going to be tough going for him. Now certainly back into this match. 3-1 in the second set, and Healy is back in. It looks up at the uh, sun to see where it's now coming out of the clouds. And he will have a chance to uh, serve and go up 4-1 and uh, change in momentum here in the second set. And always the game after your break is so important. You want to consolidate that break. You, you want that other guy across the net to know that, that, that you mean business and you're not letting up. Veteran pro against the great college player just out of college. And take it, you know, when, when the opportunity is presenting itself now, Healy is playing aggressive tennis. He's taking advantage of, of those short balls. Yeah, it was just a little problem. Ball kids had the balls at the wrong end of the court. Yeah. So... Healy got a little chance to catch his breath. Thirty love. And there he used that backhand. He went up the line with that backhand and then drew the error off the forehand from Shabazz. At least you've been in these situations, both ends of it. You know, when you're a young player or you're a veteran player, how much of this now becomes mental as Healy starts to know what he's, know what it takes to come back here? Well, both these players, you know, Shabazz is, he's pretty, he's played a ton of matches. He's you know, played a lot of college matches this, this year. I mean, it, depending on the situation, it's always about playing one point at a time, focusing on what's in front of you, 
you know, keeping the presence of mind. If you're the, per the player that's down, you always know, if I focus, if I play one point at a time, I can come back. If I'm the guy that, that, that's ahead, it's the same thing. You know, you just, you know, keep that train rolling. You know, you, you want to seize that momentum. And you check this serve out and come on, come on, Eagle Eye Snyder. <laughs> well, that looked long. I have to agree. It. Uh, I think that uh, Healy's complaint again is that Shabazz tried to play the ball and then walked up and looked at the mark and said, ah, that was long. Uh, and they're having their discussion with each other at the net right now. I think the umpire's going to need to get involved and get this get play back again. I think we can listen in. Replay the point. Replaying the point. That means two serves. And when you hear, see the discussion like that, you, you get the sense that these are the times in a match when the guys aren't in love with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, the, you know, gotta you gotta be careful in these situations. And this is now when you talked about how you deal with this. You gotta keep your focus. You gotta remember why you're here. You're here to win, and you you can get distracted by the arguments. Got to get the focus back right away, both of them. And Healy knows just what to say, and he's been there <laughs> many times before. And you talked about McEnroe. That was Mac McEnroe and Connors were both brilliant at this. They could argue. They could. You, you, you would think that they were losing their focus, and then they would just right back get get right back into into that zone. <laughs> so it's an angry Nathan Healy there, yeah. <laughs> and the crowd moving with him as well. And Healy, the momentum back now on his side. Up four games to one in this second set. Finals of the Metzger continued from Colonial on Lingolstown Road. Live on ABC 27, presented by M&T Bank. We revolve around you. At Centric Bank, this is more than a tagline. It's our promise. As your financial partner, Centric Bank provides relationship banking that frees you to serve your customers better. The Centric team understands the challenges of business ownership. We have the resources to help you grow, and you are just one call or click away from a decision maker. Saving, borrowing, investing with people you trust, that's the power of We Revolve Around You. Welcome to Hershey Country Club, the leading club experience in the region. Your membership affords a history rich in tradition since 1930, and a legacy that includes Ben Hogan, Henry Pickard, and chocolate magnet Milton S. Hershey. Hershey Country Club is a place for families, a place where members of all ages can rest, relax, play, and dine in the comfort of good friends. When you join our club, you're entering the Hershey family at Hershey Country Club. Welcome to the Ultra Life, where you never have to settle for less. With 95 calories, 2.6 carbs, and one exceptionally smooth taste, Michelob Ultra is perfectly balanced for your life. Want a free checking account? Raise the green flag. With M&T Totally Free Checking, there's no minimum balance requirement and no monthly service charge. Are you ready to raise the green flag? Visit any M&T Bank branch today. Welcome to the Ultra Life where you never have to settle for less. With 95 calories, 2.6 carbs, and one exceptionally smooth taste, Michelob Ultra is perfectly balanced for your life. Why teach tennis 
It's a great question, but it's, a, it's an easy one to answer. I teach tennis because of the people. I teach because I love this game. I'm passionate about it. I think tennis demonstrates life. What can I do for you? Now what can you do for me? It's the best feeling in the world when you've taught somebody something and they get it. I, I love it. There's no better reward. It's about helping others and that's the main reason why I teach the game of tennis. And we continue live from Colonial with the final championship match of the Metzger Open. Nathan Healy making a great comeback here in the second set against Michael Shabazz. Well, Greg, you said to me before the match you wanted to see a good three-setter, so yes. you know, we, we may be heading that way. I think the difference in the game is uh, Michael changed his shirt. And since he changed his shirt, he hasn't done so That's well. Right. <laughs> You did point that out when he changed the shirt, you know? See, what he's hoping is that in a couple years, you know, a year or two, when a clothing company's paying him a lot of money, he can change that shirt into a fresh one of it, you know? His yeah, right now he's got a UVA shirt on. Yeah, so. so they paid a lot for him. <laughs> Full ride. <laughs> And there's that backhand again, up the line. And Healy, in my mind, both their backhands, their better sides, and the one-hander just steps right into that. That's short two, short and compact, and finding the range. Now, is this the point at which Shabazz is saying to himself, oh, the heck with it, let's just get this set through and I can play for the third set? You think he's thinking that? No, okay. I just, as a tennis player today, you just, you can't think that. And it's not three out of five. I mean, it's not, you're not playing a five setter. You're playing two out of three. This guy's been playing college tennis all, all season long. He's in, he's in good enough shape. He, and he, but he, he knows he can play the three sets, but he would love to get the break back. He wants, you do what you need to do now and that's hold serve. You focus on what's in front of you, that's holding serve. And then you, you really work on the break. But I do think, and there you see the double fault. I do think if you get down two breaks, which it, now he's in danger of, if you get down two breaks of serve, then I think you see players, eh, I don't want to say letting up, but sometimes letting up a little bit, but not down one. But I think that when you let up, it's hard to get it back. Agreed. And that's why, in my mind, I mean, the player that anyone should emulate today. You watch Rafa Nadal. He plays every single point. This is a guy that just, there is no middle ground. That's he like just, match point on it, every it, point. Yes, and takes incredible mental fortitude. It's not easy as a tennis player not to take a, a mental break or two during a match. And you just admire those players that don't, and Nadal is one of them. And here, Shabazz going to the slice, taking his hand off the racket there. And now for Healy, once again, another break point to go up that second break of serve. So Healy will serve for the set to even so things up. And you, you're just getting a great sense of how tennis can so much be about momentum swings. And this is just a huge momentum swing in this match. Where Healy is much more comfortable out there. He's played his way into it. And now serves for this second set. And then Jay, if we get to the third, and Greg, I'm going to make, you're going to have to make a pick. <laughs> yep. I don't because, you know, I, I'm a woman and, well, I don't, you know, I can change my mind, but you know, I don't have to be definitive, but you guys are going to have to be. I could do that. Okay. We are allowed to be fickle.
And Jay, you asked, well, you know, are you going to let up a little bit? How great for, for a, a Michael Shabazz who's going to, he's now venturing out into the world of professional tennis. This is where you need that mental strength. You know, if I'm him, try to make a run. See what you can do. I think that's exactly what he's doing. Club 30. How many times have you seen that player that's down 5-1 come back? Nice return and plenty of time for that pass. And now here's this opportunity for for Shabazz. You know, and, and you start thinking, all right, you know, get one break back, you get one break back, put a little more pressure on the guy. And what you ultimately want to do is make him serve again, only up the one break yeah. instead of the two, and then see how he deals with the pressure. Yeah. So it's 15-40 now. Yep. Two more break chances for Shabazz. out that big serve. <coughs> right to the back end. Just great play from from Healy. He's you've got Shabazz who's trying to step around and hit that forehand, and when you pull yourself off the court, Healy recognizing that he had the open court and he took advantage and then came in and, and that volley is just that so ankle good. Ankle top volley is just beautiful. And Healy is just anticipating. He's obviously so much more now in this second set now that he's used to the what Shabazz does. And and tennis is so much. It's it's a, a obviously a game of movement, but it's also about anticipation. And when you you know where your opponent's going more, you just you ease into your shots so much more easily. Has it with an ace right down the tee. So we are even now. Shabazz winning the first set 6-2 and Nathan Healy has come back to take the second set 6-1. We will decide the title when we come back here on ABC 27. Welcome to Hershey Country Club, the leading club experience in the region. Your membership affords a history rich in tradition since 1930 and a legacy that includes Ben Hogan, Henry Pickard, and chocolate magnet Milton S. Hershey. Hershey Country Club is a place for families, a place where members of all ages can rest, relax, play, and dine in the comfort of good friends. When you join our club, you're entering the Hershey family at Hershey Country Club. Welcome to the Ultra Life, where you never have to settle for less. With 95 calories, 2.6 carbs, and one exceptionally smooth taste, Michelob Ultra is perfectly balanced for your life. Why teach tennis? It's a great question, but it's, a, it's an easy one to answer. I teach tennis because of the people. I teach because I love this game. I'm passionate about it. I think tennis demonstrates life. What can I do for you? Now what can you do for me? 
It's the best feeling in the world when you've taught somebody something and they get it. I, I love it. There's no better reward. It's about helping others and that's the main reason why I teach the game of tennis.